What's good, y'all? I'm Sarah Jules, SarahJulesBeats.com, and today I'm gonna show y'all which headphones I use. First and foremost, this is brought to you by SarahJulesBeats.com. This is my website. If you're a producer or artist, scroll through it real quick. Show me some love. Listen to a couple of songs. Check out this site. You know, uh, let me uh, get some feedback on it. That's all I want, just some feedback if you like the layout and everything like that. I have a video that I dropped for y'all to let y'all know what I use to make my website through, which is Banzoogle. You could click that video, click the link in there. I have an affiliate link, so when you sign up, you get a discount, and also I get uh, rewarded for it. So do that for me. All right, so in this video right now, I just want to show y'all what headphones I use, and uh, I'm going to leave some links in the description below to let y'all know the price ranges and, and some links to get them too. So, first and foremost, I had these headphones since like 2011, and these are my Sony bass headphones. So, well, they <laughs> the material... Uh, really peeled off. It used to be full with this material right here. You can see it. That material, but it like, you know, I had it since 2011. And it's very comfortable to your ears. It's very bassy, so when I want to feel all that low end and everything, like, it's perfect. And I could leave these on my ears the whole time and not, like, get irritated. Uh, the, the quality of sound is beautiful. The quality of the headphones are beautiful. When I purchased them, they were only $80 at Best Buy. So th these are my first. And I used to work out with them. I actually did everything with them. I used to live in New York City and I used to go on the trains with them, not you know, be distracted by anything else going on. I used to be in my own world with them. So it's definitely, uh, I don't know if it's sound cancellation, but you won't be able to hear all the ruckus going on around you. I don't know if they updated it or made it like Bluetooth now, but had these since 2011 and they still going strong. So next, I have my Audio Techna. Um, these the ATH M50s. And these right here are my recording headphones. Also the material has been peeling. I had these since about 2012, I like to say. Since 2012, I had these headphones, and they're pretty much what I use all the time um, when mixing and mastering and also recording. I use these most of the time. If I'm just on my laptop by myself, I will uh, use the Sony's, but I, I mostly use these because it's plugged in all the time. Um, they're not. They're not bad. To me, it kind of get irritated when leaving them on too long. Um, but other than that, the quality of them is immaculate. It's amazing. You get that full surround sound. You get all the mixing, uh, sequential sounds that you want to hear, all the uh, ambient sounds. Like It's great to mix. You find your levels greatly. But I would suggest you have on those headphones and you have like a sub subwoofer on or something in order to enhance your, your bass if you're trying to get that bass to uh, feel better. But that's about it with those. They're kind of like monitors for the ears. And last but not least, I have my Beat by Dre, the studio edition. And these are the wireless kind, but I will suggest you do not want to go Bluetooth when making beats or performing live if you perform beats live and have these on you do not want to go Bluetooth with them because it is a big latency uh, I tried it a couple of times and I'll press play and it'll take a probably about like three three and a half seconds for the track to start so if you for me I'm used to looking at the screen as it goes along and um the sound wasn't matching the sound waves, so that kind of distracted me. But overall, you know, I, you probably have some Dre beats somewhere. 
uh, quality of sound, amazing. Sound canceling, great to travel with, great to work out with, great to do everything with, mixing, mastering. Also um, a luxury item or well, item to uh, enhance your, your clothing and all of that too. So, so basically that's it. Um, those are the headphones that I use mainly for all my beats or listening to beats or just um, playing my beats back or just for listening. Those are my main headphones. I really like big headphones that go over your ear. I don't really like putting stuff in my ear too much. Not a big fan of it, but you know, in society now we do it. So I'm gonna leave some links down below. Tell me which headphones that you like and uh, check out the price ranges. These all, all are affordable. Um, the most that I paid was 250 for the Dre Beats. But other than that, the other two, not so, well, the Audio Techno, they run about 220 maybe, maybe less if you look on Amazon. And the other ones were $80. So that's the prices that I bought them with or buy. So I'm Cyro Jules from CyroJulesBeats.com. If you like this video, please click a thumbs up for me. Uh, drop some comments below. And I got a lot, a lot, a lot of videos coming soon. Holla. Shine. Shine.